Hello everybody. Welcome to Power Mondays on the Renewed Network. My name is Charlotte Odu, the founder. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far and please share it with others as well. This week is day 40 into the new year and I come with a message of love which I title love strong love strong you know I think everybody who is listening to me may have heard from the Bible that love is patient love is kind love is long-suffering love, love is forgiving and love is joy and it goes on and on and on and so every time in our life we are expecting love to be something glorious blooming joyous you know so love is something that we must celebrate daily and i take this opportunity to wish you a happy valentine's day in advance and i hope you have a very wonderful wonderful evening a very wonderful loving valentine's day celebrating it with your special one you know before i go into the topic love strong i want to share a word of empowerment for my new book 365 days fearless if you haven't gotten it get it from amazon or visit my website www.therenewednetwork.org when you visit my website please purchase it because every copy you purchase is going into support pregnant and single women in Ghana project 1000 which God has laid on my heart to help pregnant and single women back home in Ghana so day 40 I share and now my daughter don't be afraid I will do for you all you ask all the people of my town know that you are a woman of noble character amen Ruth chapter 3 verse 11 Grace is unmerited favor. Grace speaks for you when you can't speak for yourself. Grace announces you to your world. Grace takes you places. When the grace of God is upon you, people testify about how unique you are and there is something special about you. Receive the grace of God. I believe you have received this message today and the grace of God is resting upon you. What is strong? Strong is strength. Enough power. Enough power. Enough power to overshadow your weakness. And you know, people say, love, your love makes me weak. Your love makes me meek. Your love makes me shy. Your love makes me don't know what to say. I'm lost for words. It makes me speechless. And that is love, the feeling, the emotion. But I want to talk to someone today that you need to love strong. And you need to love smart. You know, Bible says that love your neighbor as yourself. So as much as you desire to be loved, as much as you desire to receive the joy, the progress, the multiplication, the procreation, the blessings that love comes with, the choice to enjoy that love, those blessings depends on you. You see, the people marrying and enjoying their marriage it's only because we see them on the outside, kissing, hugging, you know, high-fiving, and we feel that they have no challenges. They have challenges, but what they have done is to work together in the challenges, understand each other in the challenges, communicate with each other in the challenges. And you feel that, oh, this is for you, this marriage, this this. Thing that you see so beautiful on the outside and it feels all rosy so you want to be married it is a great desire but you need to love strong love yourself first discover who you are 
You know, when you are single, it's the best time to love, to find the love inside of you. The love you can give to others. The joy you need to build you to be an embodiment of love. You see, if you don't love yourself enough, that is when you hear stories that people have hurt each other. They've cheated on the ones they call or they say they love. They've lied. They've pretended to be people that they are not because they are not true to themselves. And I tell you, love is truth. You can't be someone else when you are in love. And if you do, you can only do it for a short time. So you need to be true to yourself because nobody can change who you are. If you are a trickster, unless you change your mindset that I'm going to stop being a trickster, nobody, nobody who loves you so much can change you. Only God changes people. Only God changes the heart of men. Only God changes the heart of women. And so they are both good and bad men. Men in the sense that male and female. And I want you to know that if you do not have the knowledge of the truth, it is very, very inevitable that you can choose wrong. And in life, we always teach our children rewards and punishment. Life is like that. Life is full of rewards and life is full of punishment or consequences. If we choose the right way, we walk in the rewards of the choice of the right. If we choose the wrong way or we choose the wrong partner, we walk in the rewards of the wrong. And listen, when it comes to love and partnership, and especially where children come in, the rewards of your choice affect your children. Therefore, before you even begin the journey of love, you need to love strong and you need to love smart. You need to be peculiar about your choice because if you desire children, you want to pick a role model, somebody that you are happy to talk about that your children can look up to. I looked up to my dad a lot of the time because he was strong. He knew what he wanted. He spoke words of life into my life, into who I am today. And you, you need a man or a woman who can take care, who can be responsible to bring children that will impact the world. So today I share with you something, you know, from the Bible again, from Galatians 5. And I love to speak these words. And for those who don't know, I have a book called Yes, I Do, My Journey to Marriage and the Story After, which is also available on Amazon. It is a factual book of a bit of what I went through in my first marriage. And it's all spilled out. Nothing hidden from friendship unto the end of that relationship. For you to know the reality of love, the journey of love, and the things that can happen when you get married. Galatians 5, verse number 16. And I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. And why I'm giving you these tips, because... If you know the wrong, you are able to choose the truth. And if you know the truth, you are able to escape the wrong. And I encourage somebody today, make the right choice. Don't only listen to the emotion of the feeling of love. Because that emotion can fade away. It can fade away. Love is hard work. Love needs to be built. Love needs to be watered. Love needs to be nurtured. Therefore, the character into which you are going to live the space of 24 hours with is who you must look out for. Is this person believing? Is this person encouraging? Is this person praising? What is their character? What are they bringing to your table? What are they willing to give? What are they willing to sacrifice? And so today, 
since it's still 11 February, I bring you a direction to be able to choose. And if you have made the choice already, this signs from the Bible will make you know where you are at. And obviously at the end of this video, I would also direct you of how you can seek help. Now Galatians 5.16 say, But I say, walk and live habitually in the Holy Spirit, responsive to and controlled and guided by the Spirit. Then you will certainly not gratify the cravings and the desires of the flesh. Because I tell you, when you see a six-pack man, that your eyes will spark. But it's not only about a six-pack or a big belly or a, a bowed hair or all the physical features you see about someone you love. The human nature without God. For the desires of the flesh are opposed to the Holy Spirit. And the desires of the Spirit are opposed to the flesh. Godless human nature. For these are antagonistic to each other. Continually withstanding and in conflict with each other. So that you are not free but are prevented from doing what you desire to do. You know, you may desire... A very rich flamboyant person but maybe this person do not speak the same love language like you they do not have the same visions that you have they do not have the same understanding that you have you are not compatible in any way by character or by personality therefore such a person if you have invited them into your life their compatibility make incompatibility makes you feel that the person is wrong or bad but no it's the choice that you have made that your desires are different from their desires and so this is what i bring to you today but if you are guided led by the holy spirit you are not subject to the law and i'll give you the laws in a minute now what is the law now the doings and practices of the flesh are clear, very obvious. They are immorality, impurity, indecency, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, people arguing daily. I even do not have, I, it's a no-brainer for me. I'm a woman, my husband is a man. Why would I want to argue with someone who had had, had chests? Who wears different trousers with what I wear? Who hasn't carried nine months pregnancy? Who doesn't even know my emotions? Who doesn't understand the hormonal fluctuations of women? They don't leave my soul. They don't leave my body. They don't leave my physique. What do we have to strive about? Is it my rosy cheeks? My curvature? What is the strife? Jealousy. Anger, ill temper, selfishness, divisions, dissensions, party spirit, factions, sects with peculiar opinions, heresies, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and the like. I warn you beforehand. Hey, if you are listening to me and you are not married, you are single, you are a teenager, and God bless the teenagers that come to me and they ask me that when is the next video and it so excites me because listen these teenagers are the next millionaires these teenagers are the next people who are enjoying their marriage who are enjoying blessings who are motivated empowered to live their dream fearlessly to chase their dreams i warn you beforehand i warn you just as i did previously that's those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Not only won't you inherit the kingdom of God, but let's, you, you, you will not enjoy heaven on earth in your relationship. You will not enjoy heaven on earth in your, in your business. If you, if you partner wrongly, if you have friends who have these traits, it leads you to doom. A lot of people are living with self-guilt, unforgiveness, doubt, fears, you know, things that they can't even speak of because of the choices that they have made in life. And listen, our life is full of relationships. Therefore, one wrong choice 
not only won't you inherit the kingdom of God, but a life of hell, a life of war, a life of uncertainty, a life of fear, a life of doubt, poverty, lack, depression, mental illness. Why do you find a lot of women in mental homes? Why do you find a lot of men in agony and also in mental homes? Most of the stories are love stories. And I don't want you to be a victim of that. Of heartbreak. Broken hearts hurts. Falling in love and breaking your legs hurts. Breaking your ribs hurts. And you know, our ribs are the parts that, that, is, that is irreparable when we break them. So when we fall wrongly in love, we don't only break our legs, we break our ribs. It's irreparable. You can only come out from the pain when you know these laws. You can escape the pain of heartbreak. You can escape the pain of agony, single motherhood, single fatherhood. When you know these laws and you are able to choose. Now, but the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit inside you, the work which His presence within accomplished is love. How can you love if you do not have God inside you? How can you love anybody, understand them, agree to them, walk together, sacrifice for them when you do not have the Spirit of God? I tell you, if you do not have the Spirit of God, you'll be jealous. You'll be envious. There will be strife. There will be no peace. Where there is strife, I tell you, the Spirit of God is not there in your home. You can only love when the Holy Spirit is in you. And the Holy Spirit says, His presence within accomplishes love. So you've got to love strong. You've got to make up your mind that the choice I'm going to make is going to be a strong choice. I'm going to stand by the uniqueness that I'm looking for in a man or a woman. Joy, gladness, peace, patience, and even temper, forbearance, kindness, goodness, benevolence, faithfulness, gentleness meekness, humility, self-control. Against such, there is no law that can bring a charge. So against these attributes, against these traits, there is no law. So if you go for all that glitters without these attributes, you may have a monster in your home. You may have a beast in your home. Because these laws are not working and functioning in your home. I also want to encourage someone with another word from Proverbs. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter number 17. Proverbs. It says 17 verse number a rebuke impresses a discerning person more than a hundred lashes of fool. A fool. You know, one of the versions says open rebuke is better than hidden love. Open rebuke is better than hidden love. And I just want you to, if you have the time, to read Proverbs 17. We must love strong. You know, sometimes when we make choices and people say that this choice, they feel is not good for you. They feel this will hurt you along the way. It may be in our best interest to listen. And when we have certain traits in us and they tell us this character you know, it's not, it's not good. It's not going to make you fruitful. You are in charge of your life. You are in charge of your destiny. And your kindness and your goodness matters. Being kind matters. It matters first to you because it brings fulfillment. But to the one you show love and kindness, it tells of who you are. 
it tells of what you can be. It's, mat it's matters of the heart. Today is 20 minute video and I hope this will bless you to love strong. Make strong choices in love. Stick with them. Stay committed in your relationship. Every relationship is hard work. If you don't put in the hard work, your children don't come back to you. If you don't put in the hard work, your, ha your husband or your wife may, may, can give up. It can fail. The love she felt for you or you feel for her can fail if you don't put in the hard work. Love strong. Work for your love. Fight for your love. If all that I am saying and you feel you are under abuse, under threat, under pressure, you are not, you know, you, you, you never feel your worth. You, you feel worthless. You, you don't feel empowered, encouraged in your own home. You are suffering abuse. Please call the Domestic Violence Helpline here in the UK or dial 999 for assistance. Love is meant to give you joy, peace, hope, prosperity, increase, and multiplication. I love you. Thank you for listening. And I hope this blesses you so, so much. Happy Valentine's Day. And God richly bless you. Meet me on Thursday on the Renewed Show on Star Radio UK. You can't miss any session in this month. I have a surprise for you. And you have to meet me there. 5 p.m. GMT on Star Radio UK. Have a loving, successful week. Subscribe. Bye.